Tracy for your week 12 video. I know you're coming to pick her up on Tuesday, but just wanted to kind of let you have a video to go back and look at and watch uh, her training and see what all she knows. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you her training um, and then I'm going to kind of go over a few things and then talk a little bit about her schedule and a couple of do's and don'ts. You will see that I've got this leash on her. While we're training, I always like to have a leash on, um, especially now that she understands what the commands are. So the leash is for when you're there with her, watching her, she's not by herself or anything like that. So no leash in her crate, no leash when she's in her playpen or anything like that. Uh, we just don't wanna do anything that could, that could harm her. So the leash is only when she is, watch, when you're able to watch her. The leash is for if she does not follow through with the command that I'm asking. So we ask twice and you might see she might make a mistake throughout this. What I do is I ask twice. After the second time, if she doesn't do it, I give her a firm no, and then I give her a tug. Basically, what that does is that gets her back on track um, and gets her focus back on me, breaks kind of the, the whatever her focus is on um, that's distracted her. So first of all, I want to show you. You want to show them, Gracie? You want to show them what you know? Yeah? You eager to show them? Okay, it's your time to shine. Let's show them. Gracie, great. she's free there's no commands that she's supposed to be doing she's super eager to please so she's trying to figure out what does she want what does she want Gracie sit good girl place sit good girl Gracie crank crank Good girl, good girl, good girl. Gracie, place. Good girl. So when she comes home with you guys, and I'll go over all this with you when you're here, she does not know where place is. You're going to have to walk her over and show her place at your house. The second she puts a paw on it, you're going to click and give her a treat. Um, same thing with crate. She, her hardest command is getting her to go all the way in the crate, um, especially since I ran into you especially since I ran into you on your way in. Um, so sometimes I have to put my hand in there and tell her crate. The second she goes all the way in, completely in, is when I give her a click and give her a treat. What are you doing? Place, sit. Good girl, good girl. I dropped your treat. Good girl, I think we'll stand up so they can get a, get a good look at you. So a couple of things about her schedule. Um, Gracie eats. One cup in the morning, 7.30 a.m. Then I fill my treat bag. I call it a treat bag. We don't use treats um, at this age. 
with one cup of food in the treat bag that I train with all throughout the day. Then she gets one cup at 5.30 at night. So what we wanna do is a lot of short training sessions, five minutes, um, you know, just short because her attention span, like I said, is short and we just want her to be able to focus, yes. So we wanna do multiple training sessions throughout the day. Um, as far as nighttime schedule goes, nothing to eat two hours prior to bed, nothing to drink one hour prior to bed. So a rule of thumb with a puppy is that they can hold their potty for one hour per month of age. Gracie can go four hours. Um, so what we want you to do is whenever you let her out to go potty for the last time at night, set you an alarm for four hours. Get up, take her out to her potty spot in the grass, let her go to the bathroom, give her lots of praise, you know, good girl, then right back to bed. We don't want to wait for her to cry out to go to her. I know. She said, I wish you hadn't said that. Yeah, because what that teaches her is that when I cry, I get attention. And then when Gracie gets bored in her crate, she's gonna start crying whether she has to go to the bathroom or not. So we want to make sure, oh, no, we're not getting down, we're not getting down. We want to make sure that we set an alarm. Um, after four hours for about a week, no accidents, bump your clock back 15 minutes. Go for a week at 15 minutes, no accidents, bump it back another 15 minutes. It won't be long before Gracie is sleeping completely through the night. Um, if she does have an accident, then what you've done is you, you've moved her a little bit too far. Because uh, they do not like to go to the bathroom where they are sleeping. So, just, you know, bump it back. If she has an accident, reel it back in. You've just gone a little too far. I do tell people when they go home, they're going to take a step back. A step back in their training, a step back in their potty training as well just for a couple of days. Bear with them, stick with the plan that we've got with our training or short sessions, letting her out to the bathroom in the night, not waiting for her to cry. The reason for that is the step back is because this is the first time that she's been away from me, from our crew and every everybody here. Um, the whole world is, is different as she knows it now. Um, she's not familiar with you. Um, so she's gonna, she's gonna take a few days just to come around and, and get back on track. Um, I want you to use your crate a lot the first week. Don't keep her in the crate all day. That's not what I'm saying. What I want you to do is basically, um, when you play with her, have her out, do some training. When she naps, put her in her crate. The second she wakes up or you're ready to take her out, take her straight from her crate to the outside potty spot that you want her to go in. Give her lots of praise when she goes there. Cause it is hard for her to understand you know, she knows, hey, I don't go to the bathroom in Allison's house, but she's still a baby. She does still have accidents. Um, but when she's got the wide open range of a house, it's hard for her to comprehend where's the outside, where am I supposed to go, where am I not supposed to go. So we want to take her straight from the crate out to the grass, let her go to the bathroom there, let her get used to going in that area, and lots of praise for her when she does. I know. Uh, but I'll go over all that with you guys when you get here. Um, I'm trying to think if I've, if I've left anything out. I do like to do the video just so you can see and have something to go back and watch. Um, she's due for her 12-week shots right after you get her. So go ahead and have that appointment lined up if you don't already. Um, and, of course, if you have any questions about training or schedules or anything, you're more than welcome to call me, email me, text me, whatever works best. She is a fun girl. Yes, she has got such a fun personality. We're gonna miss her so much. But we'll see you guys on Tuesday. So, um, yeah. And then, of course, like I said, we'll go over all this. If you have any questions, let me know. So we'll see you Tuesday.